Hey guys, this is Greg. Well, today is power steering day. This power steering pump sounds like a circular saw. Not when you're turning, just with the engine idling. It sounds pretty bad. So replace the hoses, replace the pump. I've got the car up in the air to make it a little bit easier. I mean, I'm doing a bunch of other projects. You can see the uh, outer and inner tie rods are gone. So I'm going to put the uh, boots back on the steering rack to keep dirt and stuff out of there. Because just above the steering rack, if you take your splash shield out that's normally here, you can easily see and get to uh, the fittings there that you're going to need to remove to replace those power steering hoses. So uh, what I've got here on the table, it's so really all you need is a pretty short list, a uh, power steering pump, power steering fluid. You need the uh, pulley remover kit. This is a Maddox, picked up from Harbor Freight. It's a pretty solid kit. Uh, not like the Pittsburgh set. This is a much better uh, quality. Should hold up for a number of pulley removals and installations. Uh, I got this, we've got this three hose kit on uh, Altered Fox, so you don't have to search and find, go to different places to find all your hoses. You can just order the one kit that has all three hoses you need. And then just a brief uh, variety of tools. I'm not using any power tools today. An impact wrench would be handy when it comes to removing the pulley, but you can also use uh, your socket. Uh, I'm also going to use a breaker bar, which I don't have out here. Everything's standard except for a 17mm uh, socket. Everything else is just standard sizes. You'll need a lot of towels. And you'll also need some type of bend to catch uh, power steering fluid in because it's going to be a mess. And that's it. Let's get started. Alright, before we get too far into this, I want to see how my current power steering fluid compares to brand new fluid. So I'm going to put just a little bit in this jar. Just so we can see what new fluid looks like. Alright, as you can see, it is almost completely, let me get it in camera here, it's almost completely clear, a little bit yellowish in color. So let's see what my uh, actual power steering fluid looks like. So you'll want to do this with your turkey baster. Get this pump as empty as possible before you start draining it. So as you can see, it is pitch black. I mean, it's not the least bit translucent at all. It's completely black. So um, if your power steering fluid looks like that, it's time to change it. Okay, that's pretty much empty. Let's go over here to the side of the car, underneath. So on the driver's side, you'll see two hoses right here at the bottom corner of, of the radiator, just under the radiator hose, which is up here. You have two black hoses, that's your power steering hoses that go to a cooler that sits in front of the radiator, and the cooler is basically just a metal tube that runs around in front of the radiator. So I'm going to uh, disconnect uh, both of these, uh, one at a time, and I've got a, a big pan here, so I'll catch whatever comes out. Now all this uh, is all damp from leaking. I think one of these hoses, maybe both, were leaking. So this is the uh, 5 sixteenths. That's what you need to remove these clamps. That 
comes loose. All right, so I'm just gonna let that uh, drip for a while. These uh, two hoses to go to the cooler, and then the third hose right here, those are the three I'm gonna be changing. The one from the cooler, this one from the power steering pump, they go both go back here to the end of the steering rack. Steering rack's here, and they both bolt in uh, up here. So I'm just gonna follow these two lines back, and that's what I'm gonna unbolt. Before I do that, I'm gonna put my uh, boots uh, back on the steering rack just to protect this to keep all that gunk from falling into here. All right, I was able to get a good camera angle and some good light in here. So uh, this is the steering rack here, runs across the front of the car, and then at the end of the steering rack, there's a piece that extends up right here, which is where your uh, steering uh, shaft goes uh, into right there. So the two lines I wanna remove is this one, and the one right under it. So uh, I can see that there's a tie wrap on here, which leads me to believe maybe this is uh, still the factory lines that are here, which would explain the uh, leaking at the other end of these. So I'm gonna cut this tie wrap off. Let's start with the bottom one. jump up top and work on the pump now all right so up here we've just got a um, five six uh, five eighths uh, right here and then a regular hose clamp down here so we're just gonna pull these loose So next we're going to take out the two bolts over here, holding this on. two hoses up top here. Okay, so the car is ready for stuff to go back in, but the pump is not ready. So you can see, here's the pump came out. Here's the pump we're putting back in. So you can see a lot of differences between the two. So we've got to take off pulley and the bracket itself and put those on here. So that's what we're going to do next. Alright, so as you can see, there are bolts under here that hold the bracket on. So the first thing we need to do is get this pulley out of the way. So that's our pulley kit. In. 
So you've got the rings here. You'll see there's different widths of this part. Your large width goes underneath um, the lip here. Like so. And this ring keeps it from coming off. So you can pull up on that. Now, got this piece. It goes inside there as well. So then, I'm just going to use this piece and this piece. There's a little O-ring on here. You just want to put a little bit of grease on that O-ring. Just so you don't uh, rip it. Putting it in here. It just goes right in the end of this. Screw this down in here. And it's tight, so you can already tell there's a pulling action on here. This is all tight. I'm going to keep that ring on there, though. Yeah, I realized when I was editing this that you couldn't really see what I was doing with the uh, polar kit. So, first, let's look at the pieces you're going to use. It's going to be this one. Just got your hex on one end and a threaded uh, hole on the other end. And when you're pulling the pulley, you're going to use this uh, flat piece. Just to get a flat surface on one end, and this end just has an O ring and it just slides into here. It doesn't thread in. You can just kind of, kind of push it in there. Like I said, be sure and put some grease on that so it doesn't uh, damage the O ring. The threads here also need some grease. Uh, the other pieces you're going to use are going to be the puller here. And then these pieces. So here now you can see where this is a wide surface and on the other side you have a more narrow surface. So your wide surface will go around the pulley. This will go uh, inside of here. So now this is on the pulley and pulley goes in here. Then you have this. Put your ring around it. And then when you thread, when you thread this in here, it's going to push on the pulley and basically pull the pulley up off of the pump. You're going to need two wrenches. You're basically going to be holding this and turning this. This is a half inch. This is one inch. You can get some different gloves. These are pretty slick on these wrenches. I'm going to uh, get a socket so I can use a, a breaker bar on it. Alright, I dug out the breaker bar. Only got a few minutes of battery left, so I'm going to try to at least get this pulley off, and then I'll probably come back tomorrow and keep moving. Next step. Much easier. All right, camera died. I got some new juice. Don't want you to miss me getting this pulley off. I think we knew where our leak was. That is a mess. So our next step is to remove these three bolts. 
All right, this is a 17 millimeter. And I'm just gonna take out these three bolts. This is uh, aluminum, although you can't tell. Uh, so I'm gonna clean this up, get rid of all this mess, and I'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, I'm back next morning. I was able to get this cleaned up pretty good. It was uh, caked with grease and oil, and it was uh, so heavily coated, I had to use a degreaser, which oxidized it, so I had to use some thousand grit sandpaper just to get a little bit of silver back to it. And it came out kind of shiny, my bed. So, uh, that's done, bolts are clean, pump's ready. Got this cleaned up, I'm not gonna paint it. It's not in too bad a shape. Um, so the next step is to bolt the uh, power steering pump to the bracket. So let's do that first. All right, so this thing only goes one way. So you can try to turn it all different ways, but ultimately it's gonna go just like that. And we'll just start our bolts. Next step is the pulley. So you want to uh, put some grease on here. I've already put grease inside the uh, pulley here, so that's good to go. Make sure you've got it so the lip here is facing out, not upset only that because you'll never get the pulley back off. <clears throat> so we're just gonna use our pulley tool and we're gonna tighten it all the way down until this surface meets right here. And that's it. So there's no torque amount. You just type, uh, tighten it all the way down or push it all the way down until it meets the surface. All right, let's move this out of the way. Go ahead and look at our pulley installer. So we want to use the shortest one of these, not the small silver one, but the next size up for the thread that fits into the shaft there. I also want to use this, the jack screw. You can tighten that all the way in like that. Then we'll want to put on our puller here. So you want the back side of the bearing against this, and you'll want the washer against that. So you'll put this in and the washer is basically going to be resting against the pulley there. So you drop that in and you just screw it all the way down until it's tight. So this is tight. This is still loose. So then I can tighten this up and I'm ready to start holding this, turning this, and pushing the pulley down. All right, that wasn't too bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a, uh, a close-up of the pulley installation uh, setup as well. So here it goes. So pulley installation, um, you're not gonna use the flat piece here, the insert. You're gonna use uh, the smallest uh, threaded uh, piece here not the silver one these threads are too small use this one these threads will go into the pulley shaft so you just want to screw these together like so so now you've got this set up then you're also going to use uh, your bearing and your washer so the washer is going to go against the pulley your bearing is going to go on top of that washer and then uh, the puller here will go on top of the bearing 
and basically uh, what you can do is go ahead and thread this right here into the shaft so let's say it's threaded into the shaft just like that then you can just slide these down over in this order right onto the pulley and then just screw this right on top now <clears throat> these will be sitting up a little bit higher once that's uh, you know when it's on the pulley so you just thread this down and once that's uh, down all the way um, you'll just turn this and it'll uh, basically push the pulley actually this will be tied into the pulley you'll turn this and it's going to push the pulley onto the pump so as you do that it's going to push down against the bearing and the washer and push that pulley right on down because this is threaded and tight it's not moving so as you do this it's going to thread it's going to push this down and that's it I'm going to start with my uh, wrenches here I'm going to switch over to my ratchet and that's it just stopped now we'll just basically turn it backwards to uh, loosen it up I had to uh, rescue one of my clamps from the old hose. I'm gonna go ahead and put on this one uh, lower hose here, just for access reasons. It'll just be easier if it's already on there. Alright, then I can just drop this down in the car, like so, when I go to put it in. Which, that is our next step to install this. So again, I've got the AC delete, so I just have the two bolts to go through the bracket um, to hold this in. It needs to be tightened down to about 40 foot-pounds.
Okay, so with your hose, should come two O-rings. You'll see you have two different sizes. This is a much larger uh, diameter than this one. So we want to use the larger of the two O-rings that come with it. So, because we're putting on this end on the power steering pump. So what we want to do is lubricate the O-ring and you just slip it over the, uh, the end of the hose. I'm not gonna do it here because sometimes it'll shoot off and I don't want it to get lost in there. So I'm gonna do that, be right back. All right, I just put some uh, power steering fluid on the O-ring and slipped it over there. And this is what allows this to, uh, to, to spin and move freely when it's in the power steering pump. It maintains that swivel action. So let's just drop this down in the way we wanna route it. Okay, so you'll feel it stop, and you only want to tighten this to about uh, 20 foot-pounds, so it doesn't need to be super tight. You don't want to strip anything out. All right, so you can see this still moves around, but it's not super loose. And now we're ready to move underneath. Everything's done up here. All right, as you can see, so these plugs in here, I'll take these out. All right, don't forget to put your O-rings on the end of your line. This one's inside there. As you can see, a little green band right there. And then the uh, brass part just slides over it. Uh, and you want to do the top uh, fitting first. So you'll have access to tighten it up. And then you can do the lower fitting. Um, these are two different sizes. So you can't get the hoses switched up. Um, so just put the one that fits up here. The one at the top is the one that goes over to the cooler. So it'll just have the rubber hose end on the other end of it and the lower one goes up to the power steering pump all right that one's in place now you just want to do the lower hose So they're both in, and you can see they'll both still freely move up here out of the way. So we can tie these off with a uh, tie wrap. All right, so these are both in, they're both tight. These still move around freely and that's fine. Be sure and route them over the top of your sway bar, not underneath. I did, uh, I confess I did have them underneath the sway bar because I had the sway bar, uh, it's disconnected, had it pulled way down out of the way so the sway bar was up really high and I wasn't even paying attention so I had to disconnect uh, one of those and uh, reroute it over the sway bar so all we have left is the two hoses here that will connect to the cooler uh, but actually I'm adding to my scope of work here all this is really uh, kind of gunked up and even the lines for the cooler right there have a lot of gunk on them so I'm actually going to remove that and clean all of this and then put the cooler back in. And it's, uh, it's very simple to remove this cooler. Basically just two uh, little bolts. There's one right there, 5 sixteenths, and there's one up at the top.
Alright, the other bolt is just right up top here. Just go to pull this right out of here. So probably a uh, limited cooling. There's so much gunk and build up on here, over half of it is covered. So I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be right back. All right, so I got this cleaned up. The uh, paint was just wiping right off with all the uh, grease and oil. Stuff's been on there so long. Paint's just wiping right off. So the uh, installation is gonna be basically just the opposite of how we removed it. You kind of put the uh, one end up in there. Go and get the ends of these lines through the hole. And you just turn it up until the, the top lines up with the hole up there. Right there. Now we'll just put in our screw and then put the screw in the top and then we're done. All right. So I got this screw in, screws in at the top, so now we're ready for one of the last steps, which is gonna be connecting both of these hoses to the lines in the oil cooler, which are, are on the uh, power steering cooler, which is right here. So let's do that next. All right, so we've got two lines here. Here's our uh, two lines from the cooler, here's our two hoses, and these hoses are meant to be cut to fit. So I'm going to do the shorter hose first. So I think I want to cut it maybe about right here. I'll need about three quarters of an inch taken off of it. And I don't have a hose cutter, so I'm just going to use a razor blade. Wish me luck. Be sure before you put the hose on there to put the hose clamp on it. Now the other hose around about right here cut this one off go now we just need to tighten these up all right that's it now time to put in fluid 
All right, now we just want to add some fluid until we can see it coming up close to the top of the reservoir. Now this is only how you want to add fluid when you're putting in a new system. So you don't want to overfill it. All right, this literally may, maybe an inch from the top here. Now I'm just gonna turn my pulley. You wanna move the uh, power steering fluid through the system to get rid of any air. Okay, let's add a little bit more. So I'm not too worried about overfilling it right now. Now you can see it's very close to the top. But you'll see it'll go down here pretty quickly once I start turning. All right, that's it. You're at the end of the video. The power steering pump's been replaced. All three hoses are replaced. I even removed the power steering cooling tube, clean that. So um, that's really it. The only other thing left to do that I can't do today is ordinarily I would start the car uh, with the belt on, monitor this fluid, and then uh, fill it as needed with the car running. And then, uh, then you're golden, should be good to go. You definitely wanna check for leaks once you have the car, or after you run the car, jump underneath, check for leaks anywhere, make sure uh, all those are sealed properly. And that is it. So I uh, wanna thank you for watching. Please leave some comments. I wanna see some comments on things you've seen or done differently or issues you run into. Um, so also like and subscribe, that'll help me. And we'll see you next time.